Right, I'm just going to show you how to do some simple word equations for neutralisation reactions. And that just means whenever you get an alkali and you react it with an acid, what do you get? Um, I'm just going to practice them like that. Now the simple answer to what I just said was alkali and acid is salt plus water. They turn into some sort of salt and some sort of water. I mean, they turn into water basically. So let's have a look. And I've, I've colour coded these just to make them a little bit hopefully easier to understand. So the first one is sodium hydroxide. Now that's an alkali. Without doubt that's an alkali because it's got this word hydroxide there. Hydrochloric acid, that's an acid. You know because it's got the word acid there. And it's going to turn into something called a salt. And it's sodium chloride in this case. And we're also going to get the other thing we get is water. We always get water. And I've colour coded that blue just so we can see because water is blue. Now the next one. Here's your alkali again, lithium hydroxide, it's got hydroxide in, and there's the one with the acid in, that's the acid. Lithium, well if we look back at this, the one before, sodium chloride, it's followed up by the purple bit, which is the bit from the acid. So it is again, it's just going to be chloride again, it's going to be sodium chloride. Uh, there we go, just like the previous one, and we always get water, water is always there. Okay, following the same patterns, acid and alkali makes a salt plus water, so we always know there's always water, and potassium, well it's hydrochloric acid again, it's chloric, uh, so let's go there, potassium chloride. Now, the reason I've coloured these bits blue, hydroxide, that's hydrogen and oxygen, and the word acid, acid means there is some hydrogen there, it's just a word you just got to remember, if there's acid, there is hydrogen. So hydroxide OH and hydrogen, they go together to make water. Now that's the reason why, the reason why I've put these two is blue, and this is blue, and this is blue, is because those things go together to give water. Hydroxide is hydrogen and oxygen, acid means hydrogen and water. The formula for, the famous formula for water is H2O, means hydrogens and oxygens. Now, the thing that's missing here is the red thing. Well, the red thing is the metal. It's the metal there. So, that is sodium. And again, all I've done here is I've flipped them around. They, these are the same thing. It works the same way, but um, we've got the acid first, and we've got the alkali afterwards. Well, the blue things, the acid is hydrogen. Hydroxide is more hydrogen than oxygen, so we're definitely going to get water. It doesn't matter. All we've done is flip them around we can still do the same things. And the hydroxide and hydrogen, that's going to give us water, without doubt. And the thing we're going to have here, what's going to come after that? Oh, it's the, the purple thing. It's the, uh, well, the purple thing here in this case, it's sulfuric acid. It's made out of the acid stuff. So it's going to be, in this case, it will be sulfate. Sulfuric acid gives sulfate. Nitric acid gives nitrate hydrochloric acid gives chloride and so on so on and so forth so looking at this one here again oh, we've got nothing to go on here so we always get a salt and the salt is the bit of metal it's the red bit and also the bit that's come from the acid so it's nitric acid it's going to give us the nitrate and we always get water. Calcium hydroxide. Okay, so I've, I've taken all the colours off, but it, it just works in the same way. Calcium's your metal and your acid, hydrochloric. So that is going to be calcium chloride. Where's it gone? And the other thing we always get, we know, is always water. This one here, we've got potassium, potassium, potassium. And then it's the thing that's come from the acid, so that's the nitric, potassium nitrate, and we always get water. Lithium hydroxide, nitric acid, well, it's got to be lithium nitrate plus water. And looking across here, it's gone mad. Turn that off. Oh, that's got something missing at the beginning. It's something hydroxide, so this is the alkali. Sulfuric acid. 
Okay, so if that's sulfuric, we're going to get sulfate. That, that there must be sulfate. Well, what goes here in the alkali? Well, it must be the metal. The metal here is potassium, so it must be working back that way, just flipping over to the side. And we always get water. Same here. Here's one you've not met the name of, ammonium. But it's ammonium. We don't need to worry about what that becomes. It's got chloride in it, so it must be... Yeah, it's got to have chlorine in. It's the hydrochloric and ammonium well we know we get water we know we always get water don't we what do all alkalis contain all alkalis contain hydroxide every time so those three i've done the colors on the first one if you want to have a look at those and maybe just just give yourself a moment and just think what would they be just if you want to pause it and try and work them out just work out what's on the left, then do an arrow, and then what's on the right. Well, we should see that it doesn't matter whether you start with the name of the alkali or the acid, it doesn't matter. But we're going to have these two things, hydrochloric acid and magnesium hydroxide, they're going to be over there on the left somewhere. Over there, on the left, somewhere there. doesn't matter which way around. Then you've got to have your little arrow, meaning they change in two. Now let's try and muddle those round. Well we know we're going to get water, we're definitely going to get water there. And the other thing is going to be, look at, well it's got to have magnesium in, so it's going to have the word magnesium here, and it's got the word chloric there, so we're going to have chloride over here. So it's got to be magnesium chloride. Just see if you can do the other two. If you've not sorted those, just see if you can work out the other two. Just pause for a moment. Right. So these two on the left. Either way round, doesn't matter. Over there. Flip round in some way. Then you've got your arrow, and then you've got the word lithium here, so you need lithium there, uh, and you've got chloric over there, so it must be chloride, and then you always get water. And then lastly, these two are going to be on the left, arrow changing into you know you've got water, and let's have a look. So we've got the metal that's in here is magnesium, and oh, that's one we haven't seen before, actually, isn't it? Where instead of instead of hydrochloric, that's hydrofluoric. So it's actually going to be fluoride, magnesium fluoride, plus little plus sign there. All right, now if you didn't follow that, I did go through it very, very quickly. If you want to go back through it and just go through it and pause it each time and just have a look and try and test yourself on those. Plenty to go through. All right, thank you. Cheers.